Taco Bell. And I said, that's my daughter's car. And he said, was your son driving it? I said, yes, he was. When he left here, he was driving it. They didn't tell me anything. They just said, there'll be someone coming back to talk to you about your son. <clears throat> so we waited and waited and waited. It got darker, darker, and darker. I said, Leroy should have been home by now. He was on his way to pick his sons up, my grandsons, from my house. So when they came back, there were two officers. And they asked to come in. I let them in. And he says, well, I'm here to tell you that your son has expired. I said, what do you mean he's expired? He's dead. So I said, what happened? Could you tell me what happened? They said, no. Someone will be here at another time to explain to you what happened. My son was at the Taco Bell on 47th and R, three blocks away from my house. He stopped in Taco Bell, and when he got to the window, they were closed. So they said what happened, they tried to get him to respond to waking up because he had fallen asleep uh, on the steering wheel. So they called 911 for the ambulance. Mm -hmm. The ambulance got there first, and then the sheriff came. And then the sheriffs told the ambulance to leave. And they left without my son's body. Mm. There was another ambulance that came after the shooting. And I asked them, what happened? How did he go from being unconscious in the Taco Bell drive through to the parking lot where he met his death? Mm -hmm. No one would answer me. They had no answers for me. I have not heard anything from the sheriff department from that day to this one. I got the information from uh, people that were around or worked inside of Taco and they wouldn't talk to anyone after the sun came up. They were, they were told not to speak to anyone in regard to the incident that happened. So when I went around there to see where my son had been murdered in the parking lot, there was not one drop of blood. One drop of blood, there was none. And when we asked what happened, they said we were not allowed to talk about it. From this day, from that day to this one, they're still not talking about it. I want to know how he got from the drive-through to the parking lot where he met his dad. I've been informed that they said there was a tussle between him and the sheriff department. Mind you, my son was about 5'5". Five, five. He weighed 128 pounds. There were five police cars there. And through those police, he met his death. But one shot in the back, and five and four in the upper body. And I still don't have yet to hear what happened to my son. My heart is broken because he leaves behind two sons and a daughter. And he was a very, very attentive and lovable father and son to us. He was my baby boy out of five children. I will never be able to replace him. And you know what? I had to come to grips with myself because I was not there. But he almost made it home. Mm -hmm. He almost made it home. And I would just like to say tonight, I hope it's the beginning of me finding out mm -hmm. what really happened to my son, other than them telling me he went for the police officer gun. But why was there a tussle when they said they placed him in the back seat of the police car? I want to know how he got from inside of the police car to meet his death. 
in the parking lot. 